Hello, I'm Claire from Wild Ginger Films and I'm here in Manitou Springs in Colorado for the Pikes Peak Marathon which takes place tomorrow. So um, we have just went to the summit today, it was the ascent today. There was a shortened course because the organisers thought there might be some thunderstorms but uh, we went to the summit anyway and then we wreckied the route down for tomorrow. So I've just run 13 miles downhill, it's the longest downhill I've ever run in my life. So I've put together a little film for you so that you can see what it's like um, and get some idea of what the terrain's like, uh, what it's like underfoot and, um, and the beautiful views as well so I hope you like it and do subscribe to my YouTube channel Wild Ginger Films um, if you haven't already and click the notifications button as well because I managed to chat to some really good athletes here so I've chatted to Emily Forsberg, Max King, Sage Canaday they've given me some really really good uphill running tips so sign up to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on those I'm gonna edit that when I come back to the UK so here here's what it was like ascending Pikes Peak today enjoy the film guys and see you on the trails all right, everybody. That's it. Yeah. That's it, girl. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> turn back down for the marathon. So that's 2,382 meters of ascent. My heart is pounding just from running that short bit just there, so much kudos to the people running the Pikes Peak Marathon. to look where you're going at all times because it's really rocky and gravelly the views are stupendous so, this is incredible it's really really tough going down though I'm out of breath going down so I can't imagine what it's like Going up. This is incredible. Okay. I've been wondering if we've been using the same trail more than once. Uh, with all those people coming down. Well done. Yeah. Good job. 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 To be timing uh, others. <laughs> hey, this is the official finish line. Did you get a picture of the finish? Definitely. Yeah. Okay, let's see how they come. Yeah. Bravo, bravo. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good, Good finish. Nice. 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 N
Okay, so we've just done five and a half miles down from the summit of Pikes Peak and it was really hard work. Even though it was just going downhill, it's so technical. You can never take your eye off the ball for a second. I tripped a couple of times and you were just like, whoa, trying to, trying to um, even it out. Um, so my heart rate was about 168 all the way down because it's at altitude. So I haven't had any problems with like a headache or anything, but my heart is just pounding. So even going downhill is a massive effort. You get descents like that in the Lake District, but nothing as long as this. It just lasts forever. Um, so we've done five and a half miles, we've got seven and a half to go. It's just really, really difficult. Both up would be absolutely insane and going down, oh my God, it's just, it's hard as well. There is no let up in this race. Starts to flatten out here. Well done, ladies. Wow. This is actually a flat bit. There is even some tiny, tiny bits of uphill. You could see how you could overcook this. In the race, you could start way too fast. Oh my goodness. The moment you start going up any kind of hill, you just have no air. If you can, come here and acclimatize two weeks beforehand. Um, otherwise, it's gonna to be tough if you're from sea level. <laughs> Oh, he's yelling there. Uh, it's gonna rain or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Woo oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it's a lot more runnable now, and we're passing these just giant boulders. Oh, wow. Bravo. Giant pink sparkling boulders and these huge trees. Just an incredible landscape. This is such an amazing view to the right here and it's starting to get really hot as we're coming back down to more like 2,000 meters to Manatee Springs. Oh. It's a nice breeze though. It used to be an old um, train yeah. that would take people up. There used to be a restaurant at the top, yeah. um, but the fastest time I think is 17 minutes to do the whole thing. Just looking up there makes me feel dizzy. It's, it's not even like steps, that. it's like a ladder. Yes, there are a lot of casualties. A lot of knees, um, oh, yeah. we've had some faces banged up. Oh, yeah. They actually give a prize for the bloodiest knees. <gasps> oh my God. So this is a bit called the W's apparently because it's switchbacks. So this is really tough because it's only three miles in. So. It's really steep. We've just hit civilization, a road. Ow, my thighs are really hurting. My quad muscles burning. These people have got the right idea. You're walking backwards. It's easier on the knees. That is a technique that I haven't seen before in a race. I just, I love this. <laughs> come here, do this race. If, if you don't do the race, then come and watch the race and just hike about. It's absolutely stunning. <laughs>